What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is James. So I've got my January pickup. For those of you who haven't been following along, my 2023 goals and my 2023 grails, one of my goals was to only buy one piece per month. So that means 12 pieces for the year. So this is my one piece for January and I'm super excited. I know a lot of you who have been following me, I talked about a denim-esque jacket. I took a little bit of a different alternative, so I hope you enjoy it, but let's get into it. So this is my Iron Hearts IHJ 49 BRN. For those of you who've been following along, I've been really wanting a denim-esque jacket. Uh, I was looking at a Boro and I was looking at the Century Denim. Um, those are still definitely on my list for pieces, but I went into a store near us called Mild Blend. Mild Blend is a men's heritage store that focuses mostly on like really nice denim. They've got Iron Hearts, they got 316. Uh, the guy who runs it is a really great guy. His name is Luke. He's been in the industry for many, many years so I went in there originally to have a pair of jeans chain stitched uh, as you may know I'm trying to wear the clothes that I have so there's been a few things that I've wanted to modify to kind of really fit my style not just have every pair of jeans that I have have three different cuffs as you might know I'm not the tallest guy and most of the pants that I buy are gonna be in like a 34 or 35 length and as I was waiting I ended up running into this jacket so this is again the type 3 trucker they call it a modified type three, uh, mainly because the body of it is slightly longer, which I don't necessarily love. And then it's got the hand warmer pockets. But as I was walking around, I fell in love with it. It's such a beautiful jacket. It's also a jacket that Victoria loves. So anything that the wife loves or the fiance loves or the girlfriend loves, you already know it's kind of like a, all right, I've got the blessing kind of thing. A few years back, there was a jacket called the Shot Duke. So the Duke was an unlined rough out leather. They still have one in like, like a tan. They did have one that was an espresso. So my friend John had it and I wore it for a few days and I fell in love with it. It was a great cut. It was a great length. I love the rough out because it gave me a very like Saint Laurent kind of look, but it wasn't Saint Laurent. So I wasn't paying Saint Laurent money. I was getting Japanese or American heritage quality and I, I was just in love with it, but it was discontinued. I could never find it. It made me insane. Um, so when I walked into this, it was kind of like the stars aligned. I, I, I fell in love with it. For those of you who don't know what Ironheart is, they are a Japanese base with a UK distribution. They kind of have two different business models, um, but their focus is going to be mostly American military, American heritage, with a big kind of emphasis on for bikers. So everything is gonna be a very, very heavy, kind of strong wearing, heavy wearing product that is like, if you fall off your bike, you're gonna be safe and that kind of thing. Iron Hearts worked with a company called Four Speed Japan. From my understanding, I don't know a huge amount about the brand, but it seems like they're the shot of Japan in a small sense. Um, and this is a rough out. So it's a steer split rough out so basically what that means is steer height is going to be a lot thicker than a calfskin and it feels that way it's much heavier it gets warm yesterday i was wearing it and it was 30 degrees out i had a t-shirt on and this and i felt great so this is a steer suede so it's a brown split suede jacket and I absolutely love it. It is a type three jacket. I'm sure I've already said that, but it's a type three jacket and there's so many different things that I like about it. First things first, I like the fact that it's got a huge weight to it. It probably weighs, like I'm not exaggerating, probably five pounds. I love the lining on it. So the lining is great because it's got like a, like a heavyweight cotton twill, which kind of separates the body. That was one thing that the shot jacket didn't have. It was an unlined, so you had to wear it with like a long sleeve or you started to feel like you were sticking to it. I love the donut hole brass buttons. And they call it a modified type three because it has the hand warmers as well as internal pockets. So if you look on the inside, they've got like the pockets right here, as well as on the other side. They've added hand warp more pockets to it. And then they've elongated the body slightly. I wouldn't say they've elongated it all that much to a like a modern type three. It's kind of in between like a 70s type three and a modern type three. It still fits me at my hips and I'm 5'8". So it fits me really, really well. Um, and I went with a large. So the reason why I went with a large is because I wanted to be able to wear a hoodie with it as well. I like it because it makes it much more wearable. So as you may know, um, 
a big focus of mine is being able to wear for multiple things. I like to dress casually when I'm on my days off, but again, I have to wear a suit every day for work. And you know, sometimes I have to go to a client dinner and sometimes I just need, I wanna look nice for a dinner with Victoria. So this is kind of like the best of both worlds. It's giving me that like really kind of over the top men's heritage vibe that I can wear with a pair of jeans, I can pair with military pants. I can wear it so many different ways, but then I can dress it up as well. It's, it's classic enough and the rough out suede is so soft and buttery that I can wear it with like a pair of black sweat, uh, black pants or I can wear it with like a pair of chinos and just have my collared shirt popping out and have it like lightly unbuttoned. It is such a beautiful jacket. I love everything about it. Thank you for coming everyone. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Sorry this was a bit short. Have a great day and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.